Oh, what's up? <laughs> Can't see myself there. There we go. It is a rainy day outside, so I thought I'd do a uh, another video just talking about uh, a different subject. Today I'm going to be talking about contests. Uh, before, but before I do that, I was going to show you off a, a lens I got uh, recently, which I uh, am very impressed with. This is an old uh, Nikon. It is a 75 to 150 f 3.5. This is an excellent lens, very sharp, uh, nice colors and everything. Um, I've got it adapted here to my uh, Olympus uh, mirrorless Micro Four Thirds. Uh, modest thing, you could get pretty cheap. Uh, I just thought it was a nice quality, so I went ahead and threw it on my lens or my camera and uh, tested it out. And I uh, was really impressed with it. Then I got on Google and looked around and a lot of people say this is a really good lens. So go ahead and get and buy this. I think you can get uh, I, I got this in a big lot of things, but I'm sure you could get this for around $40 or less. So uh, check this lens out. I uh, might do a review on it at some point. But, um, okay, well, let's talk about it now. Um, contest. Um, why am I talking about contest today? Well, uh, my wife just entered a photo contest. Uh, well, let me start over. She, um, she does some meditations, and on YouTube there was somebody that had a, a lot of subscriptions and they had a Facebook page and they wanted to do a photo contest of uh, showing yourself meditate so I went ahead and took a picture of my wife and put it on the Facebook for the photo, photo contest top prize was a thousand dollars so it came down uh, to the last day and they hadn't had basically anybody put in a photo on that uh, there was maybe 25 entries on there and uh, I was like, wow, you really got a good shot of winning this. Of course, on the last day, they extended it out. Oh, we're going to extend this another month, of course, because there wasn't that many interest, entries. And their main reason for doing this contest is to get the word out there, get more people to come to their site, uh, big PR type deal, you know, uh, so they could get promotions and, and uh, stuff like that. So hopefully she'll win it, but uh, that just got me uh, thinking about contests again. Uh, I did a contest years ago. Um, this is when I was first starting photography. It, it was a Canon contest. I think it was the first one he did. I'm not sure if he's still doing it. I haven't done contests in years. But it's Ron Howard, um, Opie. Uh, he was doing a uh, Canon contest sponsored by Canon. It was called Canon Image or Inspire. or I can't remember exactly what it was. But it was a pretty cool contest and it was free to enter. And this was the first one I did. Well, uh, what you had was you had five different pick, uh, categories, action, uh, scene, uh, character, um, inspiring, or some, something like that. There was five different ones, if I remember. So um, I just entered. I had a little point-and-shoot shot. I was like, ah, this doesn't have any chance of winning. Um, but it's a really cool shot. The actual subject of it is good. So anyway, on these uh, these five different categories, uh, Ron Howard's staff would pick five pictures from, or pick five shots for each, and then he would take all those shots and put them together and kind of inspire him to make a short movie, which was a pretty cool idea. I kind of thought that was cool. Um, but anyway, you know, thousands and thousands of entries because it's Canon, big company, and I actually ended up not winning, but I, I got um, I got onto a level, uh, you know, nominated, and then when they narrowed it down to ten pitchers, and then from the ten pitchers I didn't win. But it was pretty cool because mine was just a point and shoot uh, shot. Really cool, just the subject matter of it. I guess that's one well one. But it's um, you can see your picture here. It's pretty neat. It's a um, a gargoyle that was outside and uh, uh, in my garden, and it snowed that night. And the snow kind of covered it up, and, and you can see there it, it looks like he's kind of drowning in the snow. So pretty, pretty interesting shot there. But that kind of me uh, actually getting nominated or whatever, and that got me inspired, uh, kind of a little overzealous to to go and and do a bunch of contests. So I got online and found a little uh, website. I, I think this is the same one I googled. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below, and it had just all these different photo uh, contests that you can enter. But anyway, I entered. Like I said, I got overzealous and did the uh, National Geographic one. 
uh, and it, it had an entry fee on that one. It was 15 bucks. I was like, oh, I, I like this shot a lot. I had, I had taken a shot. I believe it was on my old Olympus. I had an EPL2. So that tells you how old it was, 12 megapixel camera. And I shot this shot right here um, with the kit lens. And I actually had a mac macro filter on it. And just another one of the, the character, the subject of it, uh, kind of looked curious peeking over this little wasp peeking over, as you can see there, over this leaf. But, you know, and then after I entered, you know, it's it's National Geographic, so you're going to have all these incredible photographers entering this thing, entering this thing, entering. The, and I can't remember the amount of entries that were on there. I can't even remember what the top prize was, but it wasn't that much, five or ten grand, and then, and then they put you in the magazine or something. But uh, but then I thought, man, uh, fifteen dollars uh, a pop for each photo, and there, I mean, there was. 100,000 or more, that's a shitload of money. And then I thought about it, I was like, well, magazines, they're kind of, you know, you, most people go online now, the, the magazine subscriptions have gone way, way down over the years. So this is probably how they fund um, fund themselves through the year, because I think they do this photo contest every year. So, um, of course, I didn't win, but um, it got me looking at other photo contests. Um, online this photo guru website that I'll put in, in the description below I think that's the site I use but um, it has all these different contests and it, it narrows them down fairly easy uh, it could do, be a little better but it has it has how much it is to enter and what the top prize is and right there in front of your face so you can kind of see but here is my uh, be weary of contest things like I said uh, that contest basically I think funds Funge National Ge Geographic for a long time when the top prize isn't that much. And then you have other uh, other ways of doing contests like the, the one where my wife did it and it just kind of is more of a PR stunt and they're not really uh, trying to make money off of it. It's just trying to get more views and more activity coming to the website. So there's different views of doing that. But there are a ton of contests that are, I would say they're I mean, they're just made for people making money. So, for instance, the if you go on this Guru site, you could find some of them that are like, it's $10 to enter. Okay, it's $10 to enter. Okay, what's the top prize? Well, it's a half-year subscription to their site, which is worth $600. And it's like, is that really, <laughs> is that really worth it? And then, you know, it's $10 to enter, and then they, you know, say a thousand people enter there's ten thousand dollars and all they're giving away is a top prize is a subscription to their site which is supposedly worth six hundred dollars or it will be like uh, same thing ten dollars to enter and the top prize is a uh you know a nine hundred dollar canon or nikon of your choice or something like that and then they have ten dollars and then a thousand people enter it's uh wow ten thousand dollars for nine hundred dollar camera is that really worth it? It's it's kind of your your thoughts on that. Um, I'm kind of wary about that stuff. But, and also, I gotta say, you got to if you are real sacred about your photos and you don't want people stealing them, supposedly, and all that stuff. Read the entries. Uh, a lot of times, uh, they will if you enter it, they have full rights to your photos, so they can do what whatever they want with it. They own the rights to it when you enter that contest. So make sure to read those uh, contest rules and stuff. But there are some legit fun contests out there. I think Oscar Meyer had one years ago. Um, that, that they're kind of fun to do. Um, it, I can't even remember what it was. Fun in the sun, um, you know, with the Oscar Meyer hot dog or something, something weird like that. But I never got around to shooting it. You had to have particular things in the scene. Of course, an Oscar Mayer product or whatever, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, go through there, uh, enter contests, they're a lot of fun, and there's lots of sites that just have little themes of the week, um, Flickr has some like that, and then some Facebook sites as well, just uh, just kind of kind of keep your photography fresh, they might have like a landscape one week, and then, uh, you know, uh, portraits the next week or something like that, but I like the ones where you have to go out there and shoot that week. It's like you're not grabbing something out of your archive and just throwing the photo on there. Um, it's all about um, 
you know, getting out there still shooting. So, um, anyway, that's my little take on contest. If you have a contest uh, website or something like that that you think would be a fun contest or even a group that does a lot of these little uh, mini uh, things like that, uh, just uh, leave it in the description below. Comment. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't. Um, I wish it wasn't raining outside. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.